We don't want to waste this energy, basically, because as men, this is our life force. It's, it's our potential. So today we're going to dive into the principles, the mechanics, the, the how and the why of working with our sexual energy. Channel the sexual energy through the body for more creativity, for better health, more focus, and just to make you really more of yourself. And so, just kind of start with the overview of, you know, I'm sure you guys are pretty aware already, but our sexual energy is a very powerful force. And for most people, it's just this completely unconscious impulse, impulsive drive. It's like, I don't really know why, but I want to like, you know, look at porn all day, jerk off all day. I want to chase after all these women. And so obviously it's a powerful force. It's, it's, has anyone had like, uh, has this ever directed you to do some weird things that afterwards you're like, why did I do that? Has that ever happened? Yeah. Has that not happened to anyone? Is a better question. <laughs> like, what weird things for this world Well, I mean, you know, just not, I, okay, maybe weird is a, you know, not a, not a fair word here, word here, but just like, oh, why did I spend all this energy chasing after this girl? Woke up next to her the next morning was like, ooh, you know, just maybe that's a bad example, but not, it's, it's likely though, yeah. I mean, no, no judgment or anything, you know what I mean? Just, yeah, not feeling good about what you did, basically. Not that there's any right or wrong here, it's just, you know. So the whole thing here is we want to build a conscious relationship to this, a deeper understanding of why we have the sex drive and maybe what would be a better outlet for it than, you know, the tissue or the one night stand. Not, not that there's anything wrong with one night stands either. Just, you know, uh, we don't want to waste this energy basically because as men, this is our life force. It's, it's our potential. The semen is the most refined substance of the body. And it takes a lot of resources to be constantly producing sperm when you're just ejaculating every day. And a lot of the ancient traditions talk about this as well. And they had different viewpoints on this. You know, a very common one was celibacy, you know, kind of the brahmacharya path of the Indian yogis. And I think for a lot of these, um, a lot of these systems, sex is just such a sticky thing. It's just so, it can be very difficult to manage. Uh, to, to manage this, this sexual drive and these sexual impulses while trying to have a spiritual path. It can just be a distraction if you don't know how to get this thing into balance. And so I think a lot of them just avoid it entirely. Okay, well, just don't have sex. Don't think about it. There you go. Easy solution. It's easy when you're living in a cave, but when you're down here on planet Earth in 2022 with, you know, OnlyFans and Instagram booty models and, you know, it's just, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, constant bombardment of the sexual stimulation. So, I think the more practical approach is to say, okay, I've got this sex drive. Um, I am a sexual being. How can I integrate that into my spiritual path or whatever path I'm living in my life, my creative pursuits, my business? How can I take that energy and redirect it into something more beneficial than just you know wasting it? And so this energy we can use for many things. I would say one of the number one reasons for practicing this is just better health and more energy levels. That's kind of the, the, bare, the bare minimum because as, again, as men, to be ejaculating recklessly, we can get away with it in our teenage years. It's, uh, there, we have a lot of resources, but when we continue and continue that through our 20s, through our 30s, eventually, you know, hey, I, I can't get it up all of a sudden. Um, I, uh, I'm feeling fatigued. Um, I don't have the energy I used to. You start to lose that, that drive. You start to lose that. My testosterone's low. I'm losing my, uh, I'm losing my ambition, my motivation in life. And you just kind of, you know, just the downward slope towards old age and death. So health, better health. You do these practices, increases your health, your hormones, you know, again, to re release this, the semen ex excessively, depletes the hormone endocrine system. So that will rebuild. You feel more youthful. You will age better. You will look younger in old age. Um, creativity, your sexual energy is your creative drive. It is the energy of the desire to create, to transform. You know, it's, it's this cellular sexual process that's happening. Our cells are multiplying in this orgasmic process. Everything in the universe is birthed from polarities meeting and 
creating something new. So your creativity will massively improve when you start working with your sexual energy, when you learn to really build it and harmonize it, circulate it. You, it's important actually that you find new things to put this energy into. If you don't, if you aren't already, you know, if you don't already have creative outlets and things to put this energy into, when you have more energy input, you need more of an output to balance that. Otherwise, again, it just kind of drives you crazy to have all this extra energy that you're not actually using. You can have like a, you know, a big life crisis there. <laughs> um, and your spiritual path. Uh, this, this, the Taoist alchemy, they talk about the, uh, this internal alchemical process of refining this, this crude sexual energy, the Jing, transforming that into Qi, into life force, transforming that into Shen, or spiritual energy. So this, this essence of our semen, as we move it through the body, as we store it in the Dan Tian, as we, d we do these practices, it starts to transform into this spiritual energy. So we bring it up into the brain, the glands, the higher, uh, the pituitary, the pineal. It strengthens our, our spiritual connection. You, will, you can start to really amplify your spiritual path, your, your sense of purpose in the world, and develop your higher, your higher faculties as well. So these are the things that, you know, some of the various regions, reasons for sexual cultivation, some of the, uh, what you can do with this energy, basically. Mm -hmm.